Hello guys, who here back with another video. This time around we are doing the uh, gameplay footage uh, of the PTS server. We just went over the patch notes. If you haven't seen that one, that's linked in the description also with the patch note itself. But if you want to see me go kind of quickly over all of the changes and stuff like that, you should go check that one maybe out first or just look at this one, go back to the patch notes, whatever you want. But we are going to start out with some live server, what the Shadowhunter kind of looks like. Maybe somebody forgot, but I'm just going to, you know, reference so it just looks better um, when we do uh, you know both the PTS server as well so I'm gonna do this pretty quickly because these are of course the ones we are used to so first of all we of course got the um, ad, uh, you know automatic apply of the mark as we used to and then you know to kill it and it, then we defeat it you know the dark whispers Th this is still the same name of it then you got the radiant arrow that's the one you wind up you know wind 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 and then you shoot it and does more damage the more you hold down the button and we're of course used to also the bombs as we are used to, that's going to be the same. The bombs are going to be the same, uh, just they're pretty different uh, still, but it's going to look the same. That's what I'm saying. And then, of course, we also got the ultimate, which is you hold down this button and then, you know, your enemies or, you know, what's it called? Um, your uh, charge uh, or radiant arrow becomes even more with the arrow of the goddess, basically just makes even empowered even more. So it's pretty basic uh class and still you know does the thing and this is kind of the shooting animation because they actually also changed that uh you know because that is something i didn't know but you know i got told so i'm gonna go look at that that's pretty cool so it kind of looks the same uh as you know this uh, rapid fire as we are used to and the bombs is so as well and this is the charge shot it's really i can't get a good angle on it <laughs> really want to get well i guess i can get a better, better angle I, I like that uh, maybe I can get a nice angle as well on the on the uh, when that's empowered. This is what looks empowered, and then it pretty looks still pretty good, right? It looks pretty good when it does that. But I can't get you guys a better angle than that. But you didn't guys didn't come to look at the live servers. You guys came to see the PTS server Shadow Hunter rework, right? So I'm gonna get, bring it to you guys right here. All right, guys, you now just saw the old Shadow Hunter. So this is going to be the new Shadow Hunter. I've been playing around a little bit and I kind of understand a few things right now. First of all, um, I maybe not so good to see it here. Uh, maybe not. Oh, this skin yeah doesn't do it. If you change skin, that's what I was looking at. So if you look at the skin, you can barely see it. Uh, if I shoot really quickly. You can, if I look there, you can see it get, becomes purple. Uh, maybe it's easier to see over the green. Uh, you can see it kind of becomes purple. The shots are purple. It still has the range. It maybe it's better to see it when I'm jumping around. See the shots are purple on it. And that's because I'm using this skin. If I go to like the level 21, it does the same. It's still, it's still purple. So I think all the uh, normal ones or the skins you get for free are that. But if I go to, for example, uh, I, th I used to the Nutcracker. You can see now it's red. You can see it or orange kind of maybe. Maybe it's like orange-ish. Uh, if I go to uh, this Relic of the Past... We got uh, a, like more of a red one, I guess. This is feels like more reddish, the shots. And they actually change it for a lot of classes. I think dead shot, I think there was one of them that's blue. Yeah, dead shot is like blue. Uh, so basically now there's also a VFX to all the shots as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. The sharpshooter, sharpshooter has no animation. It might be coming in, it might not be, be there. Um, the shadow shroud, that's a, that's a more of a gray one. That's more of a gray. Uh, let's see the the archer. Uh, now it, I think I clicked twice now. That's a red one. Makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's a, you know a Valentine skin. Uh, the enemy archer. That's another gray one. It's another gray shot. Um, the nightfall stalker. That's the one from you know Shadow Towers and or well it's not shot. That's white. Okay or bluish white. I guess like I have a blue tone to it as well. Uh, this this crow and scare. I guess. Also, just it might also change. It's more of a blue one, and the last one I have is the Ravening Hunter. Uh, that is also more of a white kind of a deal. So pretty awesome that there's a change to that. So something I, you know, we have of course. Let's start with the number one ability. That's still it does change that as well. This looks like this. I might actually move over to the normal skin. Uh, so you can see here. This is what they look like. The the bombs you have and those explode and apply the you know, the uh, mark as well. If you go to the mark, oh, sorry, not the mark here. You can see we have the, 
the abilities here as well, right? Uh, and also, of course, the one I actually really liked, I was really surprised when I saw it, it's a Nutcracker. Uh, it's small, it's it's mouse traps because it's, you know, kind of a Nutcracker kind of costume, right? So <laughs> that's pretty cool that that's a, uh, <laughs> as, as like a mouse trap for the bomb. So let's talk about the, uh, the first one. And that's, of course, the, you know, the Shadow Whispers. That's still the mark. So... Uh, when you kill something, I found out that that's how you get your your uh, shadow seekers when they are marked. So for the ones that are marked, for it also changed these actually because it was actually a different color when I was on another one. So when you kill this, it gives you one of these uh, one of these stacks down here. So I can just really quickly uh, use it. Oh, that's oh that was really hard to see. They should really up the animation on that. But this is what it looks like when you have no no sun seekers. Uh, it's, oh, Shadow Seekers, sorry, I call it Sun Seekers, that's not what I called. But yeah, let's see, we get this, and it, it applies automatically, as you can see there, automatically. And then you can see I got one. Uh, I did go around and try to kill, like, a bunch of them. See, I killed another one with a mark on it, and I didn't get another arrow down here. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys as well. Uh, let's go down here, get a mark on this guy. Uh, then Maybe it's not a 100% guarantee to get so, but they didn't put any numbers in, like, you're guaranteed to get one. I didn't get one either there, so maybe the Sun Seekers are just not a uh, 100% thing you get every time. But it is, like I said, automatically applied, as usually we are. At that one, I oh there yeah that one I think I got I don't know why I picked that item up but yeah so we got another one there so maybe it's just a random chance and maybe you do get five arrows I just ran around I thought I was just gonna get one for you know having killing five uh, of them uh, enemies right you just kill five enemies and I would get the five stacks on this or five marked enemies that is of course you can also apply the mark with your your sun snare the bomb right you can put that and it does do damage I can of course throw it. Um, See if we can't find an enemy somewhere down here. We find an enemy over here. Let me throw it down here and see if it wouldn't go into the trap. Yeah, see that go into the trap, but of course it's so... I just went to the first world here to just run around and kind of see what everything did, right? It do also apply a couple of arrows here. Uh, it, so maybe that's the indication. I don't know why it is all the way down there. I don't know if I take, if I hide my helmet here, it's much easier to see. Uh, yeah, it's much easier to see when you have it like this, but uh, they should really move it up so you know that Yeah, see now we have three arrows um, Let me see if I can't get five arrows if it works like that So I'll, I'll be right back for two seconds. All right So I got myself the five arrows as you can see you have five arrows I'm just gonna shoot them off use my mouse number two and they seek out you can see that's they're very very small though very very small so yeah you can't get five and they're also on the uh, icon it's also uh, five as well but i think they should move it up a little bit higher or something like that because my helmet completely you saw that completely you know i couldn't see the stacks at all if i wanted to of course i could look down here but they are doing more like also with the bard for example more you know visual things around the character so i think to just move it up a little a bit here let me see if i can't get a marked enemy and shoot it through some of these stuff i've tried that and it worked perfectly so let me see if i can't get marked that guy over there so now you can see he's marked still as we used to and now i can shoot him through see i showed him through the uh through the thing there uh if i hopefully Oh, now it's marked as well. <laughs> but yeah, I can shoot that one through the wall as well, right? Um, but I just wanted to shoot something through something so you could see when it's not marked, you know, it, uh, it got marked as well. <laughs> so the mark is going pretty quickly. It's not, it's not really helping me out. So, but yeah, you can shoot it through walls. And uh, I don't know if it's like the, I don't know if it feels like it's bigger, the, you know, the animation of the shooting. Uh, I would, I, I like the, what it looks like. I just, I don't know, uh, maybe it also becomes a little bit more overwhelming or something like that if it, you know, these arrows becomes too big. Uh, maybe they turned it down a, a little bit. All right, so last thing we have to look at is the ultimate. So before I was just hitting the button, I was just hitting the number two button and I thought it was just, uh, you just shot. But what you do, and I don't know if I can, s if it's going to shoot that way, uh, but I'm just going to hold down the button. So you can see my energy now, and this is what it looks like. And this looks like these big arrows. You can see it basically shoots through all of it. And as long as I hold down the button, uh, I don't know if it uh, ch changes, if that sense. Uh, but there's a long cooldown on it, though. There's a long cooldown on it. So I think it's it, it makes it better for... Um, 
it's way better to, to you know to do bosses or kill bosses and stuff like that uh or do more damage to bosses because if it stacks on top of things uh but i don't know if it's gonna shoot if i shoot straight down for example let me jump on this tree and i shoot straight down uh if it does that or it follows the like the you know uh that it only can shoot straight right so oh let me let me be in the air and hold down this oh yeah I, yeah it does shoot down uh i forgot to hold down the button but yeah if you hit it just once it, it'll shoot that uh you know just one arrow as uh at it i think that's great for clean dungeons you can just jump in shoot your uh, ultimate off and then shoot your own arrows and stuff like that and then maybe use the sun seekers just to do damage as well but um i, I don't know if this is, doesn't make it a, uh, a great boss killer like it doesn't shoot like because you're not getting the uh you're not getting these uh well, I guess you can use the Sun Snare. That'll apply a mark. Uh, but I don't know if the mark per se gets consumed on an enemy. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing. If it does that, it, it is, it's pretty pretty great uh, uh, as well. But I don't know. Uh, but overall, really love how it is. It can shoot this. You can see the arrows. Until you don't have any more energy, it runs out. So energy regen could actually be sort of a thing on the, on the Gunslinger. Oh, uh, sorry, not the Gunslinger, the Shadow Hunter. But they go pretty far, go all the way over here when we shot them over there. So, pretty cool indeed. So, I don't want to show more of this. I want to show the Knight a little bit as well, how that feels. And, yeah, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of want the marks to be 100% gain, but they do, yeah. So, even if you, have, you know, apply it with the uh, with the thing, with the, with the, the traps, it's not going to get, you know, it's going to apply the Shadow Mark, but it's not going to, you know, guaranteed to give you one of these seekers as well. I wish that would be 100%, so you can just go pretty quick around with doing that. But pretty interesting, uh, you know, uh, I think so, uh, at least. And then we can go shooting up in the air as well. Nice fireworks, though. Looks very nice. And they kind of look weird when they do like that. <laughs> they don't go, they still like uh, are pretty straight. <laughs> Anyways, let's show off the night so this, uh, you know, uh, video don't become like crazy long. All right, really quickly before we head into the night, I forgot to show you guys the little boost. I was just looking at it and I was like, that was something I kind of missed on before. So I just want to show you. And I think it's kind of bugged because when I do it, it should be for a short time. To me, I'm still, I'm not, you know, I'm not slowing down the time or anything like this is still, I haven't touched it at all. Uh, that is the speed. So I didn't get it that time, right? But I think I get it the next time. There is a cooldown on it, right? But you don't get it every time. But this is not a short time. I don't know if this is supposed to be like that. If this is what it hits, this is pretty cool. Like this is a very long speed boost. Uh, I ha Of course, I haven't tried it in the coin collection thing that I was talking about, but in the patch notes video but this is pretty cool if this is the movements we, we can get from doing this uh i think i have like a uh 87 87 movement speed right now uh we needed to come off cooldown so again it's not every time you get it uh there we go i go up to 143 uh movement speed 143 movement speed if i just jump on my mount uh, I'm running with a 90 movement speed, right? Because I don't have the night passive or stuff like that. I just the normal 90 speed speed mount. So I'm actually moving faster just running this. Of course, you're not getting this every time, but I think the time you kind of get this back, you're just, you know, moving so much faster. So I don't know if to them this is a short time, but I was just like thinking, hey, you would just, you know, dash a little bit, then you would move there, like like a couple of steps being movement speed every time, of course. And not this, but this, also the animation looks very amazing, very amazing. I, I think this is pretty awesome, but we'll see if this is, was their intent or not. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this because I kind of forgot about it. But and this was so cool, this movement speed in, indeed. I thought it, I, I didn't expect uh, this kind of bullet time or this uh, Hadouken flying all over the place. But yeah, on to, on to the night and uh, maybe we'll see if this sticks uh, all the way through. All right, so we got the knight right here and I've been testing it a little bit out and this is what it the movement speed is when it uh, attacks and this is when it just runs. So not a big change or anything like that. I was also just pretty sure that this is wasn't gonna be, 
like a big deal or anything like that, but I just didn't want to add this because I thought like many, maybe I think many people also thought that this rework was actually going to be for the night. That was actually my, you know, I was very surprised that they did the shadow or doing the shadow hunter per se. So yeah, if you are playing on the PTS server, make sure you give your feedback back, feedback back. Uh, if you get your feedback to the devs so they know what they you feel about the shadow hunter rework uh, but night uh you know uh, hopefully maybe it's gonna be next time that would be awesome but uh i really enjoy uh you know the shadow hunter rework so anyways that was this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you like and subscribe helps me out very much it's super super much appreciated also again check out the description for the patch note video i did also for the patch note itself if you haven't checked that out whatever you come from the one this video or the other one uh make sure you check out both of them because that's where i go like all the abilities like in numbers and stuff like that so anyways again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye